Welcome back to today's project. I'm out at the wood yard working on bucking up some oak logs into firewood. Thought I'd share a little bit of my process. My method of marking the logs for cutting has evolved over the years. When I first started, I would just pin my spencer tape to the end and paint a dot every 16 inches. This worked fine, but I was always looking to improve efficiency. A little farther down the road, a friend turned me on to the Mingo marker. If you haven't seen one of these, it's a nifty little device that accepts a can of marking paint. It uses different size wheels depending on your desired length of firewood. 14, 16, 18, and 6, 12, and 24 inch combo wheels are offered. The marker is lined up at the end of a log and as you roll the wheel down the log, a dot is painted corresponding with the number of inches on the wheel that's installed. This one's set up for 16 inches. Now to my current setup I'm using today. This is the Firewood Pro Sizer. It's basically a laser pointer for your chainsaw. It's installed on the handle and set so the laser dot measures your desired length of cut. It's fully adjustable to whatever size you want to cut. It's USB rechargeable and it's plenty visible in full sun once your eyes get trained to see it. Works great. It's a real time saver. I'll put links to both of these tools in the description. I have a lot of folks ask how I source my firewood logs. Fortunately, I am super blessed to have many contacts in the construction and tree industry. This allows me to be able to source wood and logs many different ways. For one, my day job's in the construction world, which is going absolutely gangbusters these days. There are projects all over being cleared and logs to be had if you have a keen eye and are willing to talk to folks. Developers just want the logs and trees out of their way so they can build and are actually willing to pay for this to happen quickly. Now the construction boom can be a double-edged sword, driving lumber prices up, which in turn makes it difficult to find logs. Enter tree companies. I have a lot of friends and acquaintances that work in or have their own tree cutting businesses. That's where this trailer load I'm unloading came from today. Some of them have their own firewood needs, but all of them want to get rid of logs from time to time. Plenty to go around if you stay in front of folks and are willing to make their job easier by picking up or taking less than perfect logs. Another way, and perhaps the easiest, is word of mouth. Just by letting folks know you burn wood or make firewood can open doors. Nearly every time we have a storm or high winds, I get a call from so-and-so that knows so-and-so and they told them I make firewood and may be interested in picking up their downed tree. Sometimes this can be a wild goose chase, but sometimes it leads to big payoffs. Get the info out there and the wood will find you. The last option is buying logs. There's no shortage of outfits, at least in my area, that will deliver dump truck loads of logs right to your door. For a fee, of course. I try my best to source organically. <clears throat> Free. But sometimes you have to bite the bullet and get the wood split and put up the time to season.
Today I'm using a Takuchi TB235-2 to sort through the logs and rounds. This is one of my company's machines. I'm super blessed to be a part of such a great company and sometimes I'm able to use equipment on the weekends when not needed on a job site. It's a huge help getting the logs off the ground and up to a more comfortable height. Also much safer than cutting in a pile or using a PV to roll logs around in the dirt. I'm cutting with a steel MS-261C and a steel MS-440 Magnum. The 261 is my go-to firewood saw. It's light and has plenty of power. I use the 440 for the bigger stuff as needed. 261's run in steel RS chain and the 440's run in Oregon EXJ skip chain. daylight so I'll end this video here. I've got a decent pile of oak bucked up ready for splitting. Should be enough to try out the new Split Force 1320T splitter. Keep an eye out for that in an upcoming video. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next project.